Hi, I'm Ryan and my life is average. So for those of you like myself who aren't truly immersed in the beauty guru community, okay? It is a whole nother world. It is a vicious world. And after watching Shane Dawson's documentary about Jeffree Star, which is phenomenal, I started to look more into this beauty guru community. I've known certain things, but I'm just not as uh, enamored with it as I am other parts of YouTube. And I've discovered recently that there was some drama that I'm sure a lot of you know uh, about, and that is, Jeffree Star uh, was friends with a couple people. One was named Manny MUA, and the other big one was Laura Lee. Uh, those are two of his bigger friends from back in the day that he kind of helped put on. I'm not saying they didn't grow on their own, but Jeffree Star seemed to have a hand in their growth. Now, recently, uh, they were kind of coming at Jeffree Star, seemingly from a jealousy angle, and kind of talking about his past. And then, if you want to insert the curb of your enthusiasm music here, a lot of tweets and things that they've done appeared and got them in hot water. Now, reacting to these things can be interesting. If it happens to you, there are certain ways to go about it. There are certain ways to say, hey, look, I was young or I've moved on or I've learned things. But what I've learned is a lot of YouTubers, they are like reptiles. They are like little lizards. They do not know how to apologize. They are not human anymore. And my theory is that YouTubers do this for so long and they're in this weird bubble with their own culture, their own head. And I think a lot of them forget what real true emotion is because so many YouTubers are so used to crying on camera, or being dramatic or being sad on camera or doing all these emotions that I, I genuinely think they forget how to be sorry, how to feel empathy and genuinely just how to apologize for something that they messed up in. This Laura Lee woman, okay, who is 29, she's gonna be 30 uh, in a couple weeks, made an apology that we're going to look at in a bit that is one of the worst apologies in terms of how fake it is and how forced it is that I've ever seen. And that is saying a lot because we have this apology. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. I just like inserting that Logan Paul clip because it's just one of the best apologies of all time. It's, it's awful. That was like a two minute clip. Now, a lot of times you've seen some YouTubers that are okay with it. Some actual normal human beings like Jenna Marbles who had an issue with her fish uh, a while back. Uh, they were in the wrong fish tank. She got called out. She made a 47 minute long apology beautifully said, talking about everything. This is over fish, right? Some people don't even care about that, but she made an entire video just really being herself honest and going over every single thing, talking about everything, every person that called her out and addressing each thing. That is how you properly get over something, get past something, and Jenna Marbles is one of those people where guess what? She passes the test. She's a human being, which is rare it seems to be on this platform, but Laura Lee may not be a human being. She may be some sort of lizard because her apology uh, like I said, is bad, and you know it's bad when Trisha Paytas says that it's a bad apology and that you're bad at fake crying and everything is fake. That is the that is the god tier of apologies and crying on camera. She, if if anyone knows about crying, it's Trisha Paytas, and she even came out and said, yeah. No, this is not real. This is a fake apology. So let's look at a couple of the tweets first to see what got Laura in hot water and see how she dealt with it. Tip for all black people, if you pull up your pants, you can run from the police. You're welcome. She even put a hashtag, you're welcome in there. So that's not great, especially when you're gonna call other people out for racist tweets and racist comments. You shouldn't be saying things like this that are just lurking in your tweets. Then there's another one where she said, N-word in Paris, obviously the song. What? I thought they couldn't afford to leave Compton with a giant capitalized LOL. We got another one from Laura where she says, how do you blindfold a Chinese person, put floss over their eyes, hashtag dumb gook. I'm not even gonna explain what that word means, but it is a very derogatory, uh, offensive word. And yeah, so they resurfaced and she did not handle it well. She basically deleted all her tweets. I think she deleted her Twitter in general so she could clean everything and think that people would just forget about it. But what she doesn't realize is what is on the internet usually is on the internet forever and people got the screenshots and were like, hey, what's going on? Why would you say this? And she started losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I think she's down 250,000 subscribers of people saying, hey, I supported you for your makeup and your brand. And like, look, if you support her or you are a fan of her, that's fine. And I'm not gonna tell you who to support, but it's how she acted and how she apologized that is what is, you know, making me feel some type of way because she didn't go about it 
at all the best way. She didn't address it at first, she just deleted everything, said she was taking a break, and when YouTubers say they're taking a break, it's usually for 13 hours because they cannot take breaks for more than one day or else they go crazy and they need the attention and they need the praise and then they come right back and they're like, I've changed, I've learned everything. I took three days off from YouTube. Wow, I meditated once, I had a bunch of green tea, I drank some apple cider vinegar, and man, do I feel like a new person. And in reality, they're just doing it to save face because they have a ton of brands and monetization that could go out the window if they don't go ahead and save face and actually apologize. So this is an edited video, it's not one take. It is only four minutes and 43 seconds long, which I can't imagine what you could say to defend yourself from this, these really horrendous tweets in under five minutes. To me, it's just not possible. And to me, it shows that she doesn't even know. I wanna talk to you guys in this video. It's been so long. It's almost impossible. It's hard. It's probably the hardest things I've ever done. I don't even know what she was saying to any of that because she was so high pitched. She did the classic 1950s dramatic tear wipe, which may be a big thing, a big staple in the beauty guru community for apologies. But just going in, it already sounds fake. It already sounds forced. I don't know if she's took some acting classes, but if she's ever taken any, she should fire the acting coach immediately. Maybe go ahead and hop on Fiverr, maybe get a better deal on there, try to find someone that can teach her some things. It almost looks at this point that I'm watching like a parody of someone apologizing and crying because there's basically 10 seconds of nothing. And what I noticed in this, just psychologically, is that she's thinking, you could, she's thinking. She didn't think this out fully per se because she's kind of looking all over the place trying to figure out words to say. This wasn't something that she prepared obviously or wrote down or really worked at trying to figure out the right things to say, the right words to say. All right, so now she did the uh, heavy hitter combo with the fake sniffle and eye wipe. That is like a Leo DiCaprio level type of move there. That's a little rare, you don't see that much, but she hit the with the boom. You know, now you're trying to force things out of your eyes and nose to really go ahead and do that. Then you have that once again, the really harsh, just poke myself in the eye, uh, attempt to try to get tears out. Um, not sure if she maybe had some Visine drops in there earlier. It hurts me so bad. <laughs> to disappoint you all who have supported me for so many years. It hurts me so bad to disappoint you guys because I'm not going to be making as much money now. I know that I'm better than that person. I, six years ago, decided to retweet things that were so vile and hurtful. Quickly, I'm not trying to be critical here. She's in a tough place, I get that, but she didn't retweet them. She tweeted at somebody. Number one, it doesn't make a difference if you retweet it or not, still your thoughts, but she did in fact uh, tweet those things. She at replied those people with those things. It wasn't a retweet, her username pops right up, everything pops right up. So, you know, I know she's trying to, to save as much face as possible, but at this point, like lying isn't going to help at all. You just gotta be a, as truthful as possible and not fabricate it even more because then people are going to think your apology is even more disingenuine. I was so stupid and ignorant and I have no excuses here today. I'm not here to give you an excuse. I have no excuses. I'm only here to say that I'm so sorry. So she's really panning up the uh, the high pitched voice to show her emotion. She kind of sounds like she's doing her best Mrs. Doubtfire impression at this point. Another fun fact is if we turn on the, the closed captions on this, it looks like someone did her closed captions that does not like her and they call her out in every sentence that she has. So if you guys get on there, click on the closed captions and read it. But yeah, she's really dramatizing it as much as possible. And the issue, like I'm saying, is she's so focused on the crying and the theatrics, she's not actually saying anything. She's just saying the cliches. I'm a better person, I'm. this isn't me. Well, she was still 25 years old when she said these things. I'm sorry, that's fine, but why are you sorry? She's not giving any 
points or reasoning or conclusions to why she's saying these things. She's just saying, going down the checklist and hitting every check mark that there is. She should have just said she made a severe lack of judgment and just put on a, a Toy Story hat like Logan and called it a day. I hope one day that you guys can save me for the woman that I am. And that you, I can prove to you guys that I'm not that girl. I love you guys so much. And whenever I see a disappointed you, it just breaks my heart into a million pieces. It's really, really going off the tracks. I love you guys so much. I hate to disappoint you. Please put money into my bank account. I just bought 97 Gucci purses. I regret that. I think that's what she's thinking. Oh my God, I have a whole closet full of million dollar purses. I need to fix this quick. I'm so sorry for anyone that's been hurt through this. Anyone? I feel so just disappointed that I don't even like to look at myself because like I can't even believe that I would retweet ugly things and be, you know, things that would hurt people. Like I can't. So she quickly goes right back to, and she's purposely saying retweet, right? That's a calculated decision. She's purposely saying retweet to try to make herself feel or look better, right? Like, well, it's not like I tweeted those things. The person that tweeted them is the bad person, but I'm still a bad person because I retweeted them. But in fact, once again, she didn't, she tweeted them. Believe I didn't see the pain behind that kind of tweet and that kind of behavior. I did. <laughs> There's no excuse. Okay, now she's going for the fake choke out apology method. I've never seen that before. That might be method acting that Daniel Day Lewis may have taught her. <laughs> There's nothing I can say that's an excuse. I'm just sorry. I did that six years ago. <laughs> I wish it was a better six years ago, but I can't pray for the past. I can only pray for the future. I'm gonna be real with you here. Got nothing there. I also want to say in this video that please, please just, if you hate me, please just hate me. People have called my mother and threatened to kill her. So now she is going with the, you know, feel bad for me card. If you know, she switched very quickly from emotional and sad to kind of more monotone. And look, if someone is saying that they're gonna kill her mother, that's awful. And I hope you guys who are watching this obviously know that that's not gonna do anything. Now there's no confirmation of that. And I wouldn't even put it past her for her to kind of make up that to try to feel sympathy where people say, well, that's not right. They shouldn't be doing that, which is true, right? If that is the case, stop that. That's not gonna do anything. But do I think people are calling her mother saying they want to kill her mother? I, I, I don't, I don't see that they've gotten her phone number they have attacked a child a 14 my 14 year old niece attacked her and i asked you guys please just let this be me let this be about me it's not about my family it's about me it's not about anyone else this is my sorry it's just i don't I, i'm not i'm not i'm not really falling for it, you know? I'm not really, I'm not seeing this be a thing. I don't know why someone would go for her niece. Her niece has nothing to do with this. A lot of people would logically be like, what, what's her niece, is? unless her niece tweeted these things when she's 14, I doubt she has. There's, I don't think there's anyone in the right mind that would do that, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense to me. There's another part of this story that like, I don't know if you all know, but me and Gabriel and Nikita and Manny took a picture with our middle fingers up and we were trying to mimic Kylie Jenner's birthday picture and the picture was taken out of context and it ended up causing pain, you know, for other people. And I just want to say I'm sorry to Jeffrey for the pain we may have caused you in this. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, for the pain I may have caused you. I noticed that you've gained 3 million subscribers in the last two weeks and are now worth $150 million. So if you'd like to be my friend again, I'm sorry. Okay, the last 40 seconds of this was a lot of rapid cuts from her being calm to her crying to her being calm, apologizing to crying. There's a lot going on. I mean, she clearly is trying to get more sympathy from people to try to be the bigger person by apologizing to Jeffrey. But I, once again, I just don't feel sorry 
for the, some of these people in this community because they're just very mean people. I looked some things up. They are so rude to each other. They are so mean. They don't want people to have success. It's all about themselves, and it's a really toxic community. And I'm not, sh I'm, and I'm sure everyone in the beauty community isn't uh, isn't mean or vicious, right? That that's clearly not the case. But a lot of the bigger ones in here, if you read up, it's just awful. The things that they say about each other, former friends, current friends. It's just really sad and I feel bad that the kids are watching this and I hope that they don't think that this is okay and if you're a fan of these people and you want to remain a fan, that's fine. That's understandable if you've built a relationship with them via their videos and things, but please understand that this kind of behavior and try and get sympathy and then apologizing and then going back to being mean and then do it, it's just a vicious cycle. It'll never end, unfortunately. It'll always be this big drama-filled circle, so just try not to get too immersed in it and try to just be nice she didn't say anything worthwhile in this video, and I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. I, I, I understand that she is probably upset, but you gotta think more about these type of apologies. You gotta actually give reasons why you're a better person or things that you've done to reach that. You can't just say you've changed as a person or you're a new person because you're a couple years older. You have to give reasons as to why. What has changed in your life? Who have you spoken to? What have you read? What have you talked about? What have you seen or learned yourself to make you be a different person and not just high squeaky toy type crying like a dog toy just saying I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry my mom ever wants to kill my mom and like these things that are like what stop it just doesn't add up so with that being said um I have to apologize um my friend um my friend my room my roommate my roommate bought a pack of Doritos the other day and it were Cool Ranch and I so sorry I opened the package and I started eating I just ate I ate all of them I so I got I lost my control and hey make sure to edit that out to put the cup okay cool thank you I want them to think I'm crying and action. And, um. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just emotional. I don't even like Cooler Ranch. I like original. I like spicy nacho. And I'm sorry. And please, please donate to my Patreon. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like for me. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or resubscribe if you unsubscribed before for some reason. I'll see you guys right here next time. And hey, stay average. Yeah.